welcome welcome back welcome to all my visitors welcome to all my subscribers i want to welcome you to the channel i want to get concrete for my dogs to be on because my yard kept flooding out but due to my budget i want to look for a different alternative to the concrete something that will keep my dogs off the ground something that will keep them dry if it started raining instead of using the traditional concrete what most people use i called around to all the different different uh, factories in my area and i ordered 20 pallets from a local a local um, a local business here around my area and they charged me three dollars per pallet i ordered 20 pallet 20 pallets and it ended up being 64 dollars so i'm going to show you how i built it and maybe if you're on a budget like i was or like i am maybe you could do this too to keep your dogs out in the mud to keep your dogs off the ground because it's been it's been two weeks now and my dogs, my Rottweilers love it. They love that area. They don't even try to fuss and fight to come out. And so I'm going to show you what I did and I'm going to show you everything about it. So let's go. I'm going to show you piece by piece what I did. I took my 10 by 10 dog kennel. I attached it to one end of my house. I stretched it out and I made it into a box and I connected it onto my front yard's privacy fence. So this is a 10 by 10 kennel, which is six feet high. They sell these at Tractor Supply, and they sell these also at Lowe's. Tractor Supply had a lower price. It was $2.99 at my local Tractor Supply. Lowe's had it for $3.99. So I bought it for $2.99 from my local Tractor Supply. I didn't go with Lowe's this time. And it is a 10 by 10 dog kennel. And it's basically four panels, and they all connect together with these clips right here. These clips right here is what holds it together. And it's pretty sturdy. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. It's sturdy. They haven't tried to get out. Everything's been going good. So let me take you inside and show you how I did it. Let's go. Okay. And it comes with a door. Uh, one of the panels has a door piece on it. And this is how I keep them locked in. This piece lifts up and opens. It lifts up and opens. And I just put a, a small master lock on it at night. So they can't get out. You know. But during the day, I pretty much don't put the lock on there. But I think I will. Just so they won't, you know knock it up and and end up getting out but as you can see they're in there comfortable rocky and apollo so let's go inside and let's check it out you guys let's go okay so let's start off from one side to the other i pretty much use the clips to clip it onto a pole that i put in the ground i put cement in right there and then i just ran it down I'm in the shade a little bit, you guys, so if it's a little dark, I'm sorry, but I'm going to explain it the best I can. I use some boards that I zip tied to the bottom, so hopefully they can't dig out. And as you can see, uh, Apollo's been chewing right there on it. I try to put their balls and their toys in here. And pretty much they've been using the bathroom in this area. This little, it was grass right here, but they've been using the bathroom right here. They haven't used the bathroom on the pallets. And this is what the pallets look like, you guys, and it's been keeping them off the ground. I just laid them down side by side. As you can see, they stand on the pallets. And I took their favorite toys, and I attached their favorite toys to the fence. So if they want to mess with them, play with them, they can come over there and chew them and play with them. And I live beside a ditch, you guys. So my house is the last house on the block, and that is why so much water comes down into my yard because everything is sloped to come this way towards the ditch. So as you can see, I got both of them, Rocky and Apollo, right now they're on top of, of the pallets. And as you can see, I use, I went two by two. Two, four, six, eight. So this is eight pallets right here. And this is what it looks like, you guys. And I put one of the dog houses on top of this, pa this pallet stack right here. And I also let them outside into the main yard sometimes. But when I have company, it's very convenient that I'm able to put them inside here. And that way they don't bother me or my company. Or if we're cooking out, they don't try to be around the grill area and where we have the food. So as you can see, they're in here playing. And I consider this as their bedroom area right here. I consider this the bedroom with these pallets. And this is pretty much what I call the bathroom right here. I have a privacy fence on the front of my house. So what I did was I just pretty much just boxed everything in. And my whole backyard has a fence around it. So therefore, the fence, I just connected the kennel to my regular fence. 
This is my regular fence that runs along my backyard to the ditch. And I just took some of the clippings and I connected it to the fence and I put some extra concrete down there. And also, another reason I had to do this, you guys, is because my female dog, Coco, you know, she's a little, she's a little what we call a hot tail gal. She really likes the guys. And so, therefore, you know, they're doing a lot of kissing and a lot of, you know, climbing on top of each other. I can't really say on, on the internet, but you guys get the idea. So, I had to separate them, make sure they stay separate. Usually, I let Coco go free at night because she doesn't leave out the backyard. And she's pretty much the guard dog. But during the day, you know what I'm saying, I got her on, on the chain right now for video purposes. So I can show you her little area. And I took two of the pallets I had left over and I lifted her doghouse off the ground. So this is what the area looks like from this side. Apollo's over there by the door. Rocky's right here chewing on the toy. And let me show you what I did with most of the pallets. I went on this side. Oh, one more thing, you guys. This is spicy. This is my one-year-old pet jackrabbit, Spicy. And as you can see, she stays in here with the Rottweilers. They don't try to attack her. They don't try to jump up on her cage. They don't try to bark at her. Uh, I pretty much, when I got them, I already had Spicy. So I started introducing them to Spicy and letting Spicy be out a little bit around them. So they don't pretty much bother Spicy, but that's what she looks like. And this is the other side, you guys. So right here I have two, four, six, eight, ten 10 pallets right here. And like I said, for $60 versus $600 for them to come concrete it, I really uh, didn't have the $600 to invest right now. So I went the cheaper route with these pallets for $60, $64. And they love it. They come up on it. Come here, Rocky. Come here, Apollo. I call them up here. Okay, and this is where I put the other doghouse. I just put it on this end. So I have one doghouse down there and one the bigger doghouse right here. This is the one they both like to go in together. And I also have a swimming pool. I'm going to make them a swimming pool area when it starts to get back warmer. And as you can see, when Apollo hears a rabbit or a squirrel or something in the woods, he's on alert if, if anything, if he hears anything in the woods or sees anything out there in the woods, he goes to alert. This is what you want your pets to do. You want them to be on alert at all times. No matter what we're doing, he's always paying attention. He's always looking around. He's always guarding the area, making sure that nothing's come, trying to come in the area. That's what you want. Apollo, come in, boy. And usually when I call either one of their names, both of them come. So I think they think that they have the same name, Rocky. Rocky comes if I call Apollo. Apollo comes if I call Rocky. So that's a good thing. They're brothers. They like to do everything together. So this is what it's going to look like with the pool over here. So I got them a pool area. I got them a doghouse right there. And they don't mess with my AC unit. They, you know, when they were young, they used to come over here. I used to just always keep them away from the AC unit. They, they don't bother it at all if it comes on or if they hear it come on. They don't pay it any attention. And as you can see, Apollo is being curious about the uh, about the pool. So I'm gonna probably fill it up with water one day and see how they do, see if they get in it, see what they do. I'm, I don't know what they'll do, you guys. I haven't tried it yet. So drop down in the comments and tell me what you think, you guys. Uh, do you think this is humane? Do you think that this is a, a good idea? Would you use pallets? I just wanna say that do not try to keep up with the Joneses. There's a lot of nice, uh, beautiful kennels on YouTube. But sometimes, uh, you know, you can't really keep up with the Joneses. You can't do what you see everybody else do. Sometimes you got to try to do your own thing and do what works for you. Take care of your dogs the best way you can. Take care of your family the best way you can. As long as your dogs are comfortable and have plenty of space, then it's all good. So drop down in the comments and tell me what you think about the 10 by 10 dog kennel that's six feet high that I just attached to my house. And I'm going to show y'all what it looks like from the back. This is one side of my house, and this is how I connected it. I just put it all on the side. And this is how I did my female dog, Coco's. I just put hers up on top of, a, um, on top of two of the pallets. So I'm going to tell y'all, man, it's been a pleasure for me showing y'all this. I hope this can help somebody. If you're on a budget, you know, if you have a kennel already, you can, you know, put, it out, put pallets down versus spending the money to get the concrete. If you have the money for the concrete, 
by all means do the concrete but whatever you do do whatever you can do to keep your dogs dry do whatever you can do to keep your dogs up off the ground keep them cool in the summer keep them warm in the winter and like i said i'm just getting started you guys and i love my puppies i've had them six months they are they are the love of my life i tell you guys they're my best friends. There's something good and positive to do. So I want to send you love from here in North Carolina. Drop down in the comments. Tell where you're from. Thank you for watching. Peace.